Grew up in a small town called Yanceyville, North Carolina, 12 miles south of the Virginia North Carolina border. There were a lot of things that were positive in our community and a lot of things that weren't so positive. I ran track. I was a hurdler uh, in uh, junior high school and in high school. I played football and I was a quarterback. Uh, Coach McCain had a lot of confidence in me, taught me a lot of fundamentals, a lot of techniques, and taught me how to be more important, how to be a leader. And that has really uh, proved well for me uh, in my career today. Robert McCain, he had a great impact on my life in that he had trust in me and faith in me, and he enabled me to grow both academically and athletically. He challenged me and put me in positions where I probably didn't see myself going and was very influential in the college I chose to attend. And I think with his guidance and mentoring, it's had a great foundation for me and really helped me get to the position I am now. I've been working for the Marriott Corporation for 24 years, and my last position was Director of Operations at the Gatesburg Marriott. And then this uh, opportunity presented itself to become the Director of Event Management at the Crystal Gateway Marriott, and now I'm responsible for the catering and event management areas. Coach McCain sat down with me one day and talked to me about the importance of forming your own identity, not following the crowd, and really trying to make a mark you know, for yourself. Uh, a lot of people that I uh, surrounded myself with when I was growing up, some of them did not have positive things in their mind. One of my best friends was killed in a car accident. Some that have been involved in murders or were murdered. Coach McCain really wanted to make sure that I separated myself from them and that I knew what my goals were and that putting yourself in a situation where you're not with the masses sometimes is the best thing for an individual to grow. Those discussions, I remember them today, and now I'm having those same discussions with my son, Michael. He is uh, the joy of my life. Although his mother and I want to give him the best foundation possible, we know that there's a lot of adversity and there's a lot of temptation in this world. And we have to make sure that we teach him the right path, the narrow path to walk so that he can avoid some of those missteps. I'm very grateful that he took the time to spend with me both academically and athletically and from a life perspective. And I just want people to know, like, you know, don't sell yourself short. Go for your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you what you can.